Hi, everybody. Today, I'm going to show you how to make art uh, labels for your gallery exhibitions. So once your artwork is ready to hang, um, you want to put something next to it, like a little label that tells the viewer about who um, the artist is, the title of the of the work, the medium of the work when it was created. And if there's room on that label, you can add a little bit more information. Um, uh, in the description for the assignment, I talk about how there's really two ways to make a label. One is to um, set them up, print them, cut them out, mount them on foam core, and then put them up with museum putty. But I find that to be a little bit harder um, what I prefer to do is use mailing labels. So mailing labels come in a pack like this. This one is from Office Depot. They are labels that are meant for mailing and they're kind of come in a big sheet like this, a sheet like this, and they're adhesive on the back. So they're a sticker. And the important thing to notice, and we'll talk a little bit more about this, is that each one of them comes with its own number. Um, so the number for this one happens to be Avery 5160, and I'll, I'll talk a little bit more about, about that. So this is what we're going to be using for our labels. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you guys how to set up an Excel document and then do a mail merge, which is a really easy way to, um, to do labels. So I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to go to my blank Excel document. And um, the first, sorry, I started doing something and it's actually not right. So the first column here, I want to label what I'm going to put in each of these columns. So this is going to be my first name. The second one will be my last name. The third one will be the title of the artwork. The fourth or D will be the medium. This will be the year created. And let's see if there's enough room on this label to add a website, my website and Instagram. So uh, each of you should have 10 pieces. And uh, on the in the first ones, you wanna make sure your name's on them. The title, um, let's just call it title one, two, three. The medium is going to be acrylic. I don't know how you spell acrylic. I'll just make it easy for myself. Final on Canvas 2022, uh, my website. I'm going to make it easier. And my handle. Okay. I don't want that to work as a function. Let's see if I can get it to show up, even though. It's not going to like my little at, I might have to add it back in later. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take these because the information is going to be basically exactly the same for my for my 10 pieces. So I'm going to uh, rewrite that and I'm just going to change the titles. And if your artwork, if that's not correct, if you're working with different medium um, uh, for each piece, make sure that that is um, reflected in the information for each one of your pieces. But if it's exactly the same, you're working acrylic on canvas or you've been working um, sculpture, sculpturally like little ceramics, make sure that each one reflects that. Okay. I just wanna change the number here just so we see them. Another way to do that is up there. And I'm going to just make 10 and everything else for my work is going to stay the same. Now I'm going to take this document. I'm going to save it. So I'm going to say file, save as. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. And I'm going to say labels. Um, well, let's see, I'm going to put my first name or last name. And I'm going to put the date so that I know that this is November 28th. Okay, um, so now I'm going to save this on my desktop. And now I have this document ready to go. I'm going to switch what I'm showing you. 
So I'm going to share with you a Word document. The rest of what we're going to do is going to happen in Word. I think you guys can see that. And once I have my file in Excel, I'm going to do a mail merge. I know this sounds kind of funny. Um, it's basically used if you have a lot of um, originally created. The, the reason why this exists is it's originally created if you have a lot of mailing labels and you're trying to um, get everybody's address from an Excel spreadsheet um, onto mailing labels, which is um, similar to what we're doing, but slightly different function, there's an option for that. So what you want to open a new Word document and you want to click on mailings. And then you're going to click labels. Once you're in here, you have to look for the correct label for your um, what you're going to print on. So I'm going to click on options and I'm going to make sure that I'm in the Avery um, US letter version of um, labels because there's many other options, but Avery is kind of the standard. And my number is 5160. And these are in numerical numbers. So I'm going to get to the fives. 5160, 5160 mailing address. And my mailing address here is a one inch by 2.63 inch. And what's nice about this is it's going to um, create for me the template. And let me just change my screen again. So now it's cre it created these labels for me. And this is the template that's going to print correctly onto, um, uh, onto my mailing labels. So I'm going to go back to mailings. And I'm going to say start mail merge. And I'm going to say labels again, the la these labels again. Let's see if it'll work. There we go. And then select um, recipients. You know, recipients again, as I was mentioning, it's like created as if you're sending a bunch of letters to someone. It's okay that we're using it in a slightly different way. It's still going to be select recipients. And you're going to say use um, existing list because we just created that list. We're going to find that list. It is Total Robo Labels November 28th for me. I'm going to say um, that it can still use it. Let's see if I did that. And that I want to use the first sheet. So it created this um, next record for me, which I want in there. Don't get rid of those. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert merged fields. And this is the titles that I gave to my Excel spreadsheet. I'm gonna say first name, and I'll put a little space. I'm gonna say last name, I'm gonna press enter. I wanna put the title, I want the medium, I wanna put a comma, the year. And I don't know if we'll have space for the website and the Instagram, but let's just try it. So once I have um, all of this placed in here, what I want to do is say update labels, and it's going to put it in every label. And what I can do is I can preview what they look like. Now, they're still a little bit off, like there's still some spacing issues. But as you can see, it pulled from that Excel document all the information that I had on there, making it very easy for me to work with. So I'm going to go back to this version. And whatever I do to, um, to the version here, I can update it so it does it to all the labels. So at the moment, I'm going to take away that extra space. And I'm going to do that by um, uh, pressing the uh, delete or backspace button and then pressing shift and enter. And then I'm going to take the title and I'm going to make it italicized. That's the one I wanted to do. Let's see if I can make it italicized. And I'm going to preview it again. Mailings preview. Oh, I'm going to um, say update labels. It's going to change, made the changes that I made to this first one to all of them. I'm going to preview them again. And that looks a lot better. So I'm going to uh, press on preview again. I want a few more spaces between my Instagram and my website just so that 
I, I kind of want specific formatting and I'm gonna add a little at in front and I'm gonna say update and it's gonna do that to all the labels. I'm gonna preview it again. Good, I mean, I feel like that looks pretty good. The other thing I wanna do before I uh, do anything else is I'm gonna make my name bold and I'm gonna update that again. And now that's starting to look really good. So I have my name, the title, the medium, the year, my information on the label all in one spot. So this document at the moment is just telling Word how to pull from the Excel spreadsheet. I actually am going to use this format to make a new document. And I do that by saying finish and merge. And what I wanna do is I wanna edit individual documents. And that's going to make this new document for me called labels one. And now I can really edit in here. I'm actually gonna take all of this stuff that I created. I'm gonna delete it. Let's see if I can delete it. Okay, I can. Sometimes it's hard to delete stuff from a label like this, but you can see that everything's in its own little table. Um, so we don't want to mess with the formatting of the table because then our labels might not print quite correctly. Um, but we also don't want all this extra gunk because um, it, um, it will print on our labels and we don't want that. We want to keep these blank because we can actually print multiple times on the same sheet of labels. And these sheets that I'm using, uh, let's see, they are 30 labels per sheet and we're only using 10 of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, and again, I feel like they look pretty good. So what I'm gonna do with this document is I'm gonna save it for myself. So I'm gonna say, save as, um, I'm gonna say Rosita Sparova, uh, final labels. November 28th, and I'm gonna put that on the desktop too, just so that I have it. So I can make further formatting um, uh, changes here, mostly if my label doesn't quite print right. Um, when you're printing on your own labels, uh, I'm actually gonna stop sharing. So this is how you format your labels. I'm gonna stop sharing. When you're printing your labels, I um, really be careful that you don't print on the back side. How do you, how would you know which side the printer is going to print on? It's best if you get a regular sheet of paper and you just make a little mark on the top corner or bottom corner, or whatever is convenient for you, and do a test print just to see how does the printer take the paper. Um, so that way you know that when you put in these labels, you're going to print on the correct side. All right. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.